Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World. And welcome to uh, another coming soon pre-update blog Save the World video. Let's just jump into this, guys. Let's just jump into this because I got a lot to talk about this. Um, So what I'm going to do in this video, guys, is we're going to go over what this is. This is the Save the World Locker Blog number one. Yeah, uh, there's a lot that we can just infer just from that title. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go through this. We're going to read through all of this first, uh, kind of like the interpretation that I get from it. And then after that, I I'm going to talk about it because I have an opinion about this. And I'm going to say this right now. Uh, this is actually the third time I'm recording this video because um, after the first two times, I, I, I got to thinking about it and there's some things I want to say about this. Um, but anyway, we're going to save it to the, to the second half of the video. Let's jump in and read about this. As always, thank you for watching me, guys. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you for using my creator code. Wow. Thank you, all of you. <laughs> you guys are just amazing. Thank you so much. All right. So here we go. And I'll be drinking lots of water because I'm, <coughs> I'm still coughing a lot. <clears throat> All right, here we go. By the Fortnite team. Uh, so save the world locker block number one. That just there tells me that this is not going to be the only locker block we're going to get. There are going to be more coming in the near future. I don't know why. <coughs> why would we need to talk more about the locker than what it said here? But let's see. Uh, hey, Fortnite community, we're bringing the locker in to save the world. Starting with the launch of the new season, you'll be able to use your favorite dances, emoticons, sprays, and toys as you battle the storm. We have a lot of information to share, so let's hop in. What's available with the launch of the new season? Loading screens, music, and emotes. Emotes include every category of emote, dances, emoticons, sprays, and toys. I like the fact that the music is coming. That's awesome. Uh, as well as the sprays and toys. Uh, dances and motor costume. Uh, we are working hard to make every cosmetic type available for you to bring with you on your quest against the storm. We're focusing on wraps and pickaxes as the next addition to the locker. So I'm guessing that's what's going to be the second part. Um, wraps and pickaxes. You know what? I I, I gotta say this. I, I'll say this right now because I, I think it's important. I do really enjoy the fact that we're going to see the pickaxes. This is something that I've been talking about for a very long time, especially when they did the change to the taking away the skill tree and we saw the pickaxes. I thought, you know what? It's wonderful. I just make it so that we can use the pickaxes anywhere we want. Make Give them some extra flair or something on them to show that they are... Well, obviously, if you're in Twine Peaks, you're going to be using a Twine Peaks. It doesn't matter. You can just you can switch out your pickaxe. And it wouldn't matter. And there's some really cool looking pickaxes from Battle Royale. I would really like to see that. Or even our own kind of like build a... If we had like a build a pickaxe, you know, thing where we could make our own or design our own. Anyway, from parts and everything. We're builders. Come on. Um, and then second thing is, I, I, I will say this. I'm not super thrilled about the wraps part of it. Just because in Battle Royale, you've got a limited amount of weapons that you can put wraps on. In Save the World, we've got hundreds it's gonna get a little crazy unless they make weapon specific wraps just for save the world that would be cool um da, 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 da. when pickaxes arrive and save the world we will grant uh we will grant all of the unique pickaxes you earn through progress in save the world as cosmetic items which you'll be able to use in battle royale as well well, that's just, what, five pickaxes? Four pickaxes? Okay. Well, I mean, that's pretty cool. You'll be able to use in Battle Royale. Uh, very much, the people will be like, whoa, where'd you get that pickaxe? Because, I mean, well, the Vendor Tech one looks pretty cool. I think, isn't the Vendor Tech one also in Save? Yeah, it's, it's it's also in Battle Royale. The level for the Twine Peaks one? It's okay. Unless they're, <coughs> they're going to be... <coughs> excuse me. Unless they're going to be adding a lot more pickaxes for us. Um that are going to be obtainable in achievement which also begs the question is that what they've been working so much on so we'll, we'll talk about that in a second too uh during uh how the development team approaching adding cosmetics to save the world during the process of bringing cosmetics to save the world we have kept several principles in mind first we want all cosmetics to be completely optional just like they are in battle royale cosmetics are fun to use while providing no in-game advantage second we will not take anything away from anyone if you have a cosmetic option now you will keep it Third, we want cosmetic items to be as universal as possible. We allow you to use all those cosmetics you own from Battle Royale regardless of the type. As long as they can apply to save the world. That's important there. As long as they can apply to save the world. This means that there are a lot of pickaxes out there in Battle Royale that are actually weapons for us already. 
so you can't really put a like i know there's several sites you know that are in battle royale as pickaxes for or, or, or in battle royale as pickaxes that already exist as weapons for us so obviously those won't be able to be used as pickaxes your save the world and molten pickaxes will be usable in battle royale as well that's also another important question just how much will they be developing just for save the world to you know entice people from battle royale to come over to save the world do I still own Ride the Pony? What about people who earn Ride the Pony in the Season 2 Battle Pass? Yes, if you if the if you have Ride the Pony already in your in either mode, you can now use it in all modes. And it's now a transversal mode. Traversal mode. Oh yeah, so you can it's fun. Uh, for players who earn Ride the Pony in Season 2 Battle Pass, you will also receive a new traversal mode called Pony Up to show that you earned the tier off the Battle Pass. If you don't already have the Ride the Pony, you can get it by becoming a Save the World founder. Will there be an item shop in Save the World? Yes, we plan to item, add the item shop to Save the World once all cosmetics are available. So not for a while yet. At the moment, we're focusing on adding the ability to use cosmetics you already own. For now, you'll be able to buy cosmetics through the Battle Royale store until the Save the World shop goes live. Okay. So, um, just last thing right there, obviously we are going to have a shop, obviously we are going to be able to buy things in Save the World, but right now, it's still the matter of, you. if you see something you really like, you need to go over into Save the World, into Battle Royale, to purchase it, to be able to use in Save the World. Okay, let's talk now. Um, so, I did say I have recorded this video a couple times, um, a few times actually. Um, let's start with the most important thing. I hope this isn't the only thing they've been working on. Um, I understand this is important. I understand it's important. I, I've been saying this for quite a while now, for a long time now, ever since, actually ever since the shops first started in Battle Royale. Uh, I've been saying how it would be completely a positive thing if they were to also make it available and save the world. And also, since we know this, Battle Royale, Creative, Save the World do share a same server. It is not too far-fetched to think that they could just flip things on across the board. So making cosmetics available for us and save the world isn't really as complicated as it sounds. But, but, but when you get to the point of like, up to the point of like wraps. Wraps, I believe, is going to be extremely complicated because there are so many things that can go wrong. <clears throat> when you have to deal with that many weapons and save the world. Also, I appreciate the cosmetic and the uh, aesthetic of a lot of the weapons save the world. You guys know this. Whenever we get a new weapon, I always take a moment to just look at it. They are beautiful. They are absolutely gorgeous. And for a lot of those weapons, to, just to slap a wrap on top of them, I don't think it's it's all that wonderful. I don't think it's something that I'm like going to be like, oh my gosh, that's inc that's incredible. I could see it for some weapons, and I could see it for some weapons, for example, if you could buy specific wraps for specific weapons. So, for example, if they had a, let's take, for example, a Nocturnal. If there was a Nocturnal-only wrap, that would be really cool, or a Nocturnal-only capacity to, 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 you know, to change specific weapons for us and save the world. Now, this means that they would have to take time to dedicate themselves just looking at save the world to work on just save the world first is that going to be something they're going to take time out i don't know because obviously battle royale is the focus is save the world going to be that much of a focus for them to focus that much time and attention just for something in save the world when potentially it could not be used in battle royale yet because of course we all know they may eventually take those weapons there too so thinking of them working on something specific for save the world well that would be wonderful the second thing i want to talk about is what they are what they've been doing okay obviously we haven't been hearing a lot of information this when i first saw this i'm not gonna lie when i first saw this a couple hours ago i was disappointed i was disappointed because i was like okay they just dropped the afk war games thing which i still have a lot of opinions about that i don't think it was the greatest thing i think that people who want to do afk war games privately you know what it's their time it's their thing they're not spending any materials it, it, you know it's fine it's it's whatever they want to do they're not and even if you want to invite other people into your afk war games 
it's an AFK. It's designed to be AFK. I don't see anything wrong. I don't see it as an ex exploit in the game. I don't see it as people cheating the system or anything because they've created that system. You have to your your traps reset themselves after. It is purely a simulation. So yes, I agree on reducing rewards a little. If they want, if they want to do that, that's fine. But then equally, they need to make it worth our time because that's what we have, guys. The, the, the most important thing we have right now in Save the World is time because you can't really spend money to progress in the game. You, you just can't. Sure, you can buy llamas, you can get the heroes and they'll help you get experience and, and uh, what's it called? And, and the collection books and, and or all that. It, it will help you. Yes, it will help you if you spend money. But like I said before, and I, I've said this is not a bad idea either. I think this would be wonderful if they made gold purchasable in the shop. If you could buy with V-Bucks gold for all the people out there who have jobs that take up a lot of time but have the money to spend, of course, that would help save the world. Make it so that they, those people could buy gold. For a lot of other people, including myself, who we don't have the money but we have the time, we could spend that time in Save the World to get the same amount of results. That's fine. Time is our most precious commodity here, guys. And that's the important... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. That's the important thing here. That they devalued our time. But we'll talk about that more in the future. <coughs> <clears throat> I apologize. I'm sorry. So, the other thing about this is, like I said, what have they been working on? Is this what they're working on? Um, reading over the blog, the part that really stuck up to me is when they were saying that thing about the uh, here. Uh, unique pickaxes you can earn through progress and save the world. Is that what they've been working on? Have they been working a lot and spending a lot of time right now working on creating in-game content that is going to be going hand in hand with this? Emotes, sprays, um, pickaxes. Are we going to see a lot of stuff like that that's going to be like, oh, cool. <coughs> <coughs> but at the same time, all of these different things, is it going to be that a lot of us who have been playing the game a lot, we're going to log in and instantly just get everything in the present? Are we just going to get it in the gift box and not have to work for it? Is it, again, something that is being developed for people that are going to be new to save the world because again I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for it i think it's wonderful i think that them working on developing save the world and bringing new people from it especially from battle royale is a wonderful thing for save the world but there also needs to be more progressive content there needs to be more repeatable content in the game that would be if we were to see you know like new challenges new challenges to get new pickaxe new pickaxe parts especially for save the world wouldn't it be wonderful if we could upgrade our pickaxes for example our current pickaxe why not work up to a diamond pickaxe why not make it so that you know you have a one in a million chance of dropping a diamond pickaxe head or a gold pickaxe head or a malachite obsidian shadow shard all of them and a handle you could get a handle you could get like you know like the hand wraps you could get the head but make it so that it is a make it so it's an rng thing make it so it's like it's like a lot of mmos or mmorpgs and make it so that you have a one in a blah chance of getting it as a drop so that will also encourage you to play more again time that would be wonderful Especially for Save the World. That would be a wonderful way of integrating and giving us and Save the World something to play for. Just making it so that things that are coming from save, from Battle Royale or Save the World, vice versa to Battle Royale, it's in exchange for money is okay. But I don't think it would be something that would be great for us and Save the World as a game that we've been developing and we've been doing. Um, lastly... I, I feel that I feel that all of this is it's wonderful it's great if they're preparing to 
if we're, they're preparing and getting ready to release the world the save the world as a free-to-play game doing this uh i i had said way before that you know i thought that making it so that v bucks in a free-to-play version was probably not the best idea they figured out a way to change that they took it away completely with the x-ray tickets i i personally think it's a great thing why because it's not like v bucks are going away completely all it means is that we're if and when the game goes free to play, we are, if you just log in and, hey, I'm going to play Save the World, you can't get V-Bucks for it. Oh, but I want V-Bucks so that I can buy some emotes. Well, you know what? They may have a sale for 10 bucks. You know, they may have a sale or for 20 bucks. 20 bucks, you go from the standard free to play version to the deluxe version. And when you go to the deluxe version, you unlock V-Bucks. For 20 bucks, having the capacity to play the entire game and get V-Bucks, and knowing, knowing Epic Games, what they would probably do is that they would make it retroactive, hopefully to a certain point. So that, let's say you get let's say you get to level 131, Twine Peaks, and you're like, you know what? I want to buy the game. You buy the game, and you retroactively get, that would be a lot of V-Bucks to get. But, you know, retroactively get some of the V-Bucks, or all the V-Bucks, whatever they want to do, that would be wonderful. Or just the incentive of, you know what? Buy Save the World buy it for 10 bucks buy it for 20 bucks you're going to be able to unlock v bucks and you're going to get a lot of v bucks back kind of like how people do for the um for uh the battle pass thing uh, it, i think it's wonderful i think it's wonderful that people can buy the battle pass and there's v bucks in there so that you can continue kind of recycling that into future battle passes if that's what you want and you can for a minimum you know investment initial investment you can continue playing the game i think that's wonderful but I do feel that this needs to be something that, and like I said, I hope that they've been, I'm glad they're working on this. I'm glad they're doing this. This is wonderful. But there are still so many things that in Save the World are, can be developed, can be worked on, can have some sort of progress there's a lot of bugs still there's a lot of visual bugs there's a lot of in-game bugs we know this we've seen them all the time all that needs to be worked on the problem of afk like i was saying before <clears throat> something that i was thinking about i was thinking about this the other day and i was thinking how do you get rid of afk um well rng drops as well what is how how about if depending on how much you contribute to the build to the exploration to the defense to the combat of a mission that raises your RNG potential. You have to have a minimum of, let's say, 50% involvement to be able to get a chance at a drop. And you share and you share drops. It's kind of like, you know, like boss fights. You defeat, <coughs> excuse me, you, you do a mission. If you trapped a lot, if you fought a lot, if you did a lot, you know, if you really were engaged with the game, you have a higher chance of sharing in on a drop. And a drop could be something special. I even thought, I think I even said one time, it could be parts of a schematic, you know, kind of like uh, those collector cards. Like you could have a schematic and it could take like 10 pieces to complete a schematic. And there could be only, there could be schematics that you can only get like that. That you have to get through drops, the pieces to form a schematic. There's a lot of different things. There's a lot of different RNG things that they could do with the game that don't involve money. And that's fine. It's fine if they want to involve money in it. It's fine if they want to make, of course, they're a business. Of course, make that, you know. I have said for a long time that I think the gold was a marvelous thing. It was a wonderful thing in Save the World because they put so much into the gold shop. They, <coughs> and doing that, <coughs> buying things from the gold shop is purely for time grind the game get gold you can get all the stuff in the shop wonderful but at the same time they put so much into there that there's really no reason to spend any money and save the world once you bought save the world and i said this before you don't have to spend a penny anymore buy save the world the basic play a lot get everything in in the shop play the game get the tickets open the llamas and you're good you're all good you don't need to spend any money and save the world and for a business, that's not a great thing. You gotta, you gotta make revenue. You gotta make, you gotta make money. So, integrating and incorporating other ways for people to 
pay and buy things in Save the World would be a great thing. And at the same time, including rewards for people who can't, for people who don't have the financial capacity, but have the time to invest in the game. It'd be a wonderful thing. But anyway, I'm done, guys. Done with the rant. Um, I, I think it's a good thing, though. I think it is a positive thing. I will be seeing you guys today on stream. I do apologize. There's going to be a lot of coughing, as you guys can hear. I do have a couple other videos coming out today, especially because Save the World <coughs> is, <coughs> is going bye-bye. Not Save the World is going bye-bye. Sorry. Season 9 is going bye-bye tomorrow morning. I will be live for that as well. And uh, we're going to open some last night. We're going to open some last night because the llama will be leaving tomorrow morning. Wow. It's going to be crazy. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching me. Thank you so much for supporting. I thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next one. If you enjoy this video, guys, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please do me a huge favor. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks a lot, guys. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.